Welcome, one and all, to Squirrels and Robots! <laughs> Episode 139. Yeah, not a lot going on this week as the Labor Day weekend in the States set every news outlet into lazy mode. Cyberpunk is getting some DLC. Yeah, not too excited about that. Also, supposed Bioshock 4 information was leaked, which we're not going to repeat here as folks who want to go into it blindly should not have the game already spoiled years before it comes out. Um, well, there is Batman Day coming up, like, next week, I think. Oh, great. Let's celebrate an uber-rich guy who beats up people with mental health issues and those so poverty-stricken they have to turn to a life of crime to survive. Good job. Wow, when you put it that way, Batman is the real villain. Exactly. Uh, let's see, Splatoon 3 comes out soon. Disney is working on a trading card game. So are we! Uh, there's also going to be a George Romero documentary about the Romero-directed Resident Evil movie that never happened. So, a documentary about a movie that never was. That doesn't make any sense. Wow, humans will make documentaries about anything. Yeah, apparently. Um, also, Kevin Smith is making a sequel to Tusk. Why would anyone do that? I have no idea. I mean, it keeps the bloke busy, I suppose. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there were supposed leaked images of a Silent Hill 2 remake, as well as something called Silent Hill Sakura, which honestly sounds made up. So, take those images and info with a grain of salt, as it's from an unverified source and, you know, internet. Season 1 of the Twisted Metal series is finished and is going to be on Peacock at some point. I don't know how that is going to work. But, you know, I am intrigued, honestly. Because, you know, it could be a good horror take on, on a Mad Max-type world, you know? Well, hopefully. Um, let's see. Oh, there was an actual Monster High live-action trailer released. I, for one, am looking forward to it. I, for one, am not. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> the manga slash anime... Kimi ni Todoki, or however it's pronounced, is getting a live-action Netflix series. You know, I actually like both the anime and live-action movie, you know? So, I don't know if it really needs to be retold in Netflix form. You know, as you already have three different versions available to absorb. You know, you got your live-action, and you got your anime, and, you know, you got a manga. Yeah, well, now we have a series in the works as well. Like, commies don't communicate. Mate, it, it's Comey can't communicate. Damn two. Yeah, I mean, Comey can't communicate has the Netflix anime, the manga, and a live action series that I think has one season in Japan. Why make so many versions of the same thing? Uh, I mean, I get it. I mean, if the content is good, you kind of want to push it forward in as many directions as possible. But sometimes it's just oversaturated. Like Rick and Morty. Exactly. You know, that, that Steve guy had a good take on it, you know, between the marketing and then, you know, pushing Rick and Morty into everything and cameos and, you know, internet turning everything into a meme. You know, I, I think a lot of people who browse the web frequently just got inundated with Rick and Morty, everything. And, and now, you know, some of us just, you know, we kind of want a break, you know, mate? We're, we're good. We get it. Portals and all that and science. Yeah, you know, I like the show, frankly. It was really good. I haven't seen season five. I don't care about season six. And honestly, I would be fine not watching another Rick and Morty episode for my entire life. And for those who want to know why, it's oversaturation. Pickle Rick! Yes, that was the tipping point for me. For some reason, people just grabbed onto that and they marketed the hell out of it and ran it into the ground. I remember walking into a GameStop and I was literally tripping over Rick and Morty merch. And I'm like, yo, even The Simpsons, at the height of their popularity, didn't have this much merch available. It's just way too much marketing. It's too much commerce, and it's too much crap. If I want to watch a good show, I want to watch a good show. I will support it, 
the ways I can. I am not buying everything. I don't want things shoved in my face constantly. Buy this, buy that. Hey, there's a crossover here, there's DLC here. Brand awareness, market tr penetration, and all that crap. It's all crap. Rick and Morty, good show, right? Marketing, obnoxiously oversaturated. So, might want to pull that back a little bit. Because you do get to a point where people are just like, yo, enough. And me, personally, my threshold for what's considered more than enough is a lot lower than most. So, be warned, you're slowly creeping up to the rest of the people, okay? Um, speaking of commas, did you see they are using Comey from Comey Can't Communicate as a product ambassador for hair care products in Japan? What? Well, according to a Crunchyroll article, yes, this is true, allegedly. Um, I know I'm not a... Oh, God. I know I'm not big on the ins and outs of anime lore, but Comey doesn't really talk to anyone, right? Correct. Kinda has crippling social anxiety? Yes. So, they are basically taking a character who doesn't talk, has hyper social anxiety, and can barely order a cup of coffee. Actually, she can't. Spoiler. And they're going to push this character into the spotlight to sell hair care products. Correct, according to the article. Seriously? Yes. Come on. Well, I mean, she does have nice hair. Of course she does. She's a freaking drawing. What the hell? I'm not taking hair care product advice from a cartoon that can't talk to me about it. Christ. She, she does have nice hair. Dude, that's like having the Kyojins in Attack on Titan trying to sell me skincare products. You know? Give me a break. You know, th that is pretty funny, actually. Oh, uh, no, could you need some moisturizer? Oh, I don't have skin. You know, damn it. Like, all this marketing crap is just so depressing. You know? Well, I mean, it's where the money is. I mean, you know, how else are people making money? You know, to go get their sponsorship because nobody buys content anymore. You know, they just download it and, you know, maybe if you're lucky, they support you or, you know, buy one of your knickknacks. And honestly, we should really, totally get us some sponsorships. Honestly. Dude, the only things I would remotely feel comfortable endorsing is coffee, bagels, and cream cheese. That's about it. Maybe a computer brand if it doesn't suck. I would endorse anything. You got new shoes you want to sell? I'm your squirrel. You need baked goods for sale? I'm your squirrel. Stupid energy drink that shuts down your kidneys with just one sip? I am your squirrel. Just, just stop. Hey, money is important. Ugh. Yeah, so I keep hearing. But, all right, whatever. Forget it. With that being said, September 10th marks 21 years of FOMI. Hooray! Good on you. Congratulations, I guess. Yeah, but more importantly, thank you, everyone out there for keeping things going. As in the 21 years of doing all this, we have not had to endorse anything, okay? Which is nice. So thank you for keeping this one of the few things on the internet that isn't trying to sell you some crap or pushing embedded video ads within our content. Oh, when I watch those things and, and that person, they all like, hey, hey, this video is brought to you by this thing. Oh, oh, I get so squiffy and angry because I'm like, just show me what you're doing. I don't want to see your ads. I just had to sit through pre-rolls. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just scrub past those, honestly. You know, I think most do. Yeah, so for everyone helping out, both new fans and old, thank you. We try to continue this with as few ads as possible because I hate them. <laughs> okay? Oh, wait. Are we going to have a party or something? Yes! Yes! A party would be fun! No. We got work to do. Oh, but I want cake. Then go get cake. I ain't stopping you. Oh, okay. Um, who wants peanut butter, chocolate, hazelnut, strawberry, waffle, crusted coconut cake? Um, I'll just have, like, vanilla with some chocolate frosting. Wow, someone has unadventurous taste buds. Yeah, all right. For those who have been here for, you know, like, ever, you know we generally don't do a lot of fanfare as the years pass. As we feel we generally have better things to do than pat ourselves on the back for doing what we like doing when the next day is kind of a really crappy anniversary for the entire country. That would be September 11th. Yeah, okay. Historically, for people who don't know, look it up. Everybody knows about that day. You would be 
really surprised. Anyway, we're gonna go back to work. I get cake first. After you get cake. Yes. Oh, um, technically, right, at 21, you are now old enough to drink. Yeah, you don't want me drinking. I picture you being an angry drunk. The angriest drunk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, later everyone, thanks for the continued support, spreading the word, and all that stuff. Um, there are new shirts in the Design by Humans shop. If that's your thing, you know, stuff. Just check up on things. New episode next Tuesday or Wednesday. And vampires and pumpkins on the Twitch because it is officially the spooky season. So appreciate them now in their spookiness. You know, I've been thinking it must be really rough for the pumpkin guy during the, you know, non-Halloween season. You know, like, oi, it's February. Why you still have Halloween decorations up? Ah, you know, sometimes you need those perpetual spooky things throughout the year. So you can kind of have that reminder that finally, for one month out of the year, all the creepy crap you like is actually considered acceptable by the normies. Oh, screw the normies. I'm going to put seven hands in my mailbox. Okay. Is that where all those props went? Um, <clears throat> yeah, oh, uh, good. But, and hey, it's also candy season, damn it. Yes, candy! Candy is the medicine that doesn't give me side effects. Um, diabetes? No, thank you. I'm trying to cut back. Well, um, yeah, whatever, dude. We're out. Later, everyone. Be well. Stay smart. Spread the word that even after 21 years, we are still around doing what we do. And thank you for your retort. That, that support. What's a retort? Um, a sharp, sometimes angry response. Oh, we, well, we get those too. Uh, do we? I, I generally stopped reading internet comments over the last 10 years. Well, you know, I'll take a look every so often. Um, lot of Jermaine fan art that's rather not safe for work. Still? It's freaking been 21 years. Why do people want to see this character naked? God, because it's the internet, mate, you know? It's the, there's no rhyme or reason. I mean, the biggest thing this week was that kid who was talking about corn and not even the band. Just actual corn on the cob. I could talk about corn on the cob. This is why I don't like the internet. Okay? I don't care if someone likes corn. I mean, you, you like bagels and cream cheese. Whatever. <laughs> also, Twitch is supposedly getting rid of the hosting feature if you're a streamer. I don't know if it's, that's confirmed, but that's a lot less views for a lot of small streamers. What? Hold on. So, I won't be able to host another channel when I'm not online. Allegedly. Dude. Oh, God. Do you know how many people get exposure just through larger streamers doing auto-hosts? So, like, hypothetically, Soda Poppin, Asmongold, Summit 1G, they auto-host particular channels for whatever reason. Their views go up merely because when those larger streamers are not online, people still go to their channel and they see who they're hosting. Yes, um... But that is allegedly going away for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't cost them anything. It's quite literally giving them more views and more possible income. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh I don't know. It's, it's, the, it's the internet. We, you know, just... Okay. Whatever. I, I guess, uh... Hey. You know, if uh, She-Hulk can twerk in a uh, Marvel series, then... What does that say about creative content these days? Oh, she did not do that. Yeah. Well, I don't have Disney Plus, but I am mildly intrigued. You know, just go look up the GIF. It's embarrassing cringe. And this is why I don't care about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Later, everyone. Uh, remember when stuff was good and enjoy that. We out. <laughs>